So I thought I'd do a little voiceover for this portion of the vlog because I didn't chat through it. But I got up really early because I was going to the Girlies IRL event in London with MAC Cosmetics. So this is after I'd done my makeup and then I set off. It was obviously like really early so it was really dark outside. It felt like a winter morning. So I went and found obviously where I was getting my train. Took a little <laughs> outfit picture in the toilet. Um, and just had a little wander around until the train was due. Um, I booked tickets luckily so i had an allocate seat even though the train was so quiet um but i just sat back and kind of enjoyed the view watched a bit of Heartstopper, and then ordered myself a little drink um when i got to london i was quite overwhelmed because this is the first time i've been there on my own like i've been quite a lot but not by myself um and i had to get the tube by myself but luckily it was fine i made it um and i had some time to just walk around london i felt really cool just you know in the streets of london and um, feeling like a, an actual vlogger there um, but yeah it was just nice to have some time to look around and not be in a rush before the event um, I then found where the event was, so it was Carnaby Street, Soho, um, so I had a little walk around there, there were some really cute little shops like this little pixie store, so I did a bit of window shopping because nothing was really open anyway to be honest, and then I went and had my first ever pret, I think it was my first one, if I've had one before I literally can't remember it, so I got a little iced coffee and a croissant and then just continued to have a look around, it was like really interesting, there was really like pretty walls and artwork, oh my god look at those bags i really like the one with the strawberries on um, so yeah, it was nice to have a look around and then i headed to the event um met some really nice girls we had um like a little confidence panel we had to write things down that we were proud of and things and um, we then watched a makeup tutorial which was really interesting um, which was by a mac um MUA, and then we decorated some cookies which honestly was just so cute but they tasted amazing too i also collected my little pin badge that i ordered which is like a little girlies badge um, so I thought that was cute. and then i even saved my name sticker for a scrapbook and then i literally got on the train home good morning so it's now wednesday um obviously i shared the event on saturday i had a really good time sunday i was just so tired so i had a chill day um and i thought i would just vlog anything that i got up to today and then this weekend come in to make it a larger vlog um i am also going to show you what was in the MAC goodie bag from the girlies event which is actually worth £125 which is amazing and uh, so do stay tuned for that because I will be showing you it um I'm going to start off the day making a cup of tea probably going to go and put some of those eye patches on that I love because I'm feeling very tired I wouldn't say I'm like ill but I just don't feel 100% um, so I'm going to take it easy today. So yeah, we'll see what I get up to. Also, how cute are my little peachy pyjamas? I got them last year when I went on holiday. And I cannot believe, one, that it's already nearly September. Because as I film this, I think it's like the 23rd of August. Um, nearly in September. Nearly mine and James's birthday. And then at the start of October, we're going on holiday to Spain so that's gonna come around quick we need to book the flight i need to like buy holiday clothes i need to get spending money obviously i'm a nervous flyer as well so like the fact that it's getting closer like i'm obviously just gonna get more and more nervous coming up to it but i am excited because i do think we need like a proper summer holiday so yeah anyway i'm gonna get on with my day and i'll catch up with you in a bit i felt like i had to show you my mug that i'm having my cup of tea in it literally matches my pyjamas, says Miley. So you now join me in my office. Um, I've popped this dress on because I'm gonna be going to North Alton with James, my grandma and granddad, for some lunch and a little walk around. Um, but that's not for another hour. So I'm gonna spend half an hour in my office and then kind of do my hair and makeup. Here comes Miley. Thank you. Um, so I don't know if I've mentioned on the vlogs yet, but I've started making bracelets and phone charms. Um, I am quite a crafty person, so I do like to keep busy and do some little crafty bits. And I basically went on Amazon and Teemu and bought a bunch of beads. Um, so I've been making charms and bracelets. Here is a bracelet that I've made 
Leah, who I work with. She likes Disney and colourful things, so that's hers. This is a fawn charm for Emily, who likes um, like spooky stuff, spiders, um, purple and green. And then I've got a yellow and cat themed one for Tamara who I speak to um, on social media and I met through like the girlies Facebook group and then also the same for Sam I made her a purple and green one it's got very bright in here all of a sudden um, but yes I've really enjoyed making these and I've actually made a little Etsy and Instagram called crafty charm call um if you know me like I already have such a full plate like I'm constantly on the go and yet I'm always finding new things to do. So I'm just getting ready to go out and I thought I would show you what I got in my MAC goodie bag from the Girlies IRL event. So as I say, it's worth £125, I think, which is insane. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you what's inside. So firstly, we have a little card. I actually got this one at the Potty Painting event as well. So I got it on my little pegboard in my office. I might keep the other one for my scrapbook. And it's just got a little message from the girls and it has been signed by them all. We've then got a little pin badge, which is really cute. It's obviously their like pride one. Um, and it says everyone is welcome at MAC. And it's obviously got a little lipstick on. Um, we've then got a little makeup brush, which is so soft. I really love the like rose gold of that. Um, we then have a primer, which is the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to give this a go because obviously um, at the event with the actual like workshop where the makeup artist was doing one of the girls makeup um, She spoke a lot about like primers and makeup tips and yeah So it's really interesting to find out about them. But I am looking forward to trying them um, I've taken the actual makeup products out of their boxes But we have the MAC lip pencil in cork, which is a really pretty brown shade i'll actually do a little swatch for you so that'll be like so pretty with a nude on top i've got a really nice like shimmery nude from nyx and i think that would look really pretty on top of that and then i've got two mac lipsticks which is insane i remember going to the mac shop on carnaby street years and years and years ago um when i went to london with my family and uh, me and jess both bought a mac lipstick and i remember putting a picture on my instagram and i felt so cool um so yeah i've got two mac lipsticks the first one is in meh that's how you say it and it is a really pretty kind of like not a nude it's a pink but like a mauvey pink i suppose you could say i'll do a swatch of that too how gorgeous is that these are really usable shades as well and then can anybody guess what shade this is i actually had this myself jess currently has it i don't have it myself anymore so i'm really really pleased that i do but it is like one of their most iconic shades so yeah let me know in the comments if you know what shade that is i won't say it on camera but yeah two lipsticks a lip liner a primer a brush and then the cute little bits that came with it as well like how amazing is that like i had an amazing time anyways but the fact that i got some mac makeup products from it because i spent 40 pound on the ticket and about 100 pound with my rail card for the train ticket to get there so i spent 140 pounds so the fact that i got a goodie bag almost that same amount is just amazing um and obviously like i said it was definitely worth it anyway but it makes it even more worth it but some really nice mac makeup products so i'm now gonna get ready for the day because i'm going out shortly we're gonna have some lunch and just have a look around the shops um i don't think i'm gonna use these products because i would like to do kind of like a reel um using them for the first time do like first impressions kind of thing and to be honest i've only got about 10 minutes till i go out so i'm in a rush
So I'm now back home. It was short and sweet, but it was just nice to spend some time with them and have some food, um, especially at the moment because my mum and dad and sister are all away on holiday. Um, so yeah, it was just nice to get out. I've just made myself another cup of tea. Um, I got this from a little market stall, which is a blondie. So I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to go on my laptop and pop a YouTube video on, probably one of Louise Pentland's, and then I'm going to continue making bracelets for a bit. James is downstairs. He's watching... Um, no, he's not. He's playing um, on his Xbox. Uh, he's on night shift tonight, so it's a bit sad. But it means that I can binge watch the new season of The Bold Hive, which is obviously like a girly kind of series. Definitely not James's cup of tea. Um, and just have a chilled evening. So that's the plan. Probably won't have much more to film or chat through, um, but I am going to film some snippets um, of this weekend coming. And I forgot it's bank holiday, so I've got the Monday off. And I think my grandma would like to go somewhere because my mum and dad and sister will still be away at that point. So, yeah, hope you are enjoying this video. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, and I'll catch back up with you in a bit. <laughs> morning it is now sunday so i was gonna vlog yesterday but i was at work i then did a food shop went to the pet shop went to my grandma's house and then went for some food with some friends so a bit too busy and um, so i just thought i would check back in with you today um i didn't wake up in the best of moods to be honest and i thought you know what i could just really do with a slow self-care morning and just a nice relaxing day which started off fine um i went in the shower washed my hair did my skincare um and then also dried and straightened my hair with a new ghds that i very very fortunately got gifted feeling very lucky about that and yeah just had a nice chilled morning i then went to walk mercy on the way back it rained so my nice straight hair i mean to be honest it's not too bad but it did go a bit frizzy and then when i got home i realized that ruby one of my cats has a bad stomach and of course it had to be the cat with the long fur so you can just probably imagine what i've had to deal with it's not great um, so anyway i've came into the office i'm doing my makeup um again just gonna have a chill day i i'm gonna go downstairs after doing my makeup and do a bit of housework and then i think i'm gonna watch an episode of the ball type because the new season's come out and i'm really enjoying that i'm going for sunday lunch at my grandma and granddad's because james is at work and my mum and dad are away so it'll just be nice to go around and have some food with them so i do have a nice day planned but my day kind of just went a little bit chaotic you know when you just feel like everything's going wrong i'm using a new foundation it's the rimmel london lasting finish which i've never actually tried before i have tried a few rimmel foundations but not this one um i really like the shade of this i feel like it matches my skin tone very well because it's quite pale but more of like a uh, warm tone foundation which is what i've got and um, it's got hyaluronic acid which is definitely needed because my skin's quite dry at the minute and i've had quite a few breakouts um and it's also got spf 20 in so yeah i'm using this foundation i'll link it below but i'm really enjoying it so i just thought i'd mention that just thought i'd quickly check in i'm just cleaning the kitchen and um, it started to rain again and i am going to my grandma and grandma's room for lunch um i've just taken an antihistamine because i was literally just sneezing constantly which i don't know if it's pollen like obviously it is summer um i don't know if it's the pets because i am slightly allergic to them um i literally don't know but i took an antihistamine and now i feel so drowsy like i was just literally sat on the sofa on the chest and um, that's just Macy playing with a um what's it called Antler. um yeah i was literally just sat on the sofa browsing pinterest and i genuinely felt like i could have just went to sleep like into a deep sleep like i feel that tired um so if anyone's got any recommendations please do let me know i take loritidine and citrazine something like that um and i'm pretty sure loritidine is non-drowsy but it still makes me drowsy that's what i've taken today um when my eczema was really bad i was on some like really strong um antihistamines and 
yeah i don't know if they made me feel like that i feel like they didn't because i was literally taking them every day for my skin and i don't know if it's something the doctor would give me i know you can get like an injection for hair fever um so if it is that then i would definitely think about getting that because like i hate getting up and feeling like hair fevery and then i literally take an antihistamine and then i'm tired so it's like a vicious circle it's either like i feel unwell or i feel really really tired it's one or the other um which is really annoying um but yeah so <laughs> just thought i'd ramble there but i'm just going to finish cleaning the kitchen um and then go for my lunch so i will check back in with you later and actually i don't know if i've mentioned my hair on this vlog i think i mentioned it in maybe my craft video um but yeah i've got blonde put back in my hair um i do really like it like i just missed being blonde like until last year i'd always been blonde i'd always had blonde highlights or balayage or all blonde like it was somewhat a combination of blonde hair um and last year i went brown i was trying to grow out um all of the dead ends and it is a lot healthier now so i'm going to try and take really good care of it i feel like i look more myself with blonde hair if that makes sense and um, i do miss the brown a little bit because i just felt like it always looked like a lot healthier and shinier but i do like the blonde so do let me know what you think i'm going to try and grow it as well because i feel like it always gets a bit longer than this and um, and then it's time to get it cut so it's again one of those vicious circles um, but I'm going to really try to keep on top of it. I'm using lots of like serums and hair masks and I'm going to try and get it cut more often as well so that it grows. So we'll see. But yeah, I like it. So let me know what you think. Okay, so I'm now home, got a hoodie on because it is literally cold and raining outside. Like considering it's quite bright and sunny. Um, I had a nice afternoon, but I'm just so i'm just so so tired now that like i feel like i could just go to sleep so i think i'm gonna have a chilled afternoon on the sofa watch the ball type um and i probably won't do any more cleaning or anything until james is home it just makes it so much easier when james is home because he can entertain macy while i get stuff done and um, got a little goodie bag from my grandma because she's one of those grandmas that literally like feeds me up so we've got some cheesecake in there i think crisps i don't even know why <laughs> some cheese and onion rolls which i actually do really like some cucumber which is actually for jess and um, well my mum and jess um because jess is back from holiday now and my mum's back on tuesday so i think it comes for their salads and things but i don't like cucumber and then what's in here quiche quiche i think so yeah that's my little goodie bag um, i'm just gonna go and watch tv um probably just gonna be a very boring day now to be honest but i am gonna be going out tomorrow with my grandma because it's bank holiday monday so at least i'll have something interesting to share with you then good morning it's now monday um i got up literally at half six because james got up work so i'm really tired hence the eye masks um last night i had such a bad head i had to take some of my strong pain relief medication for like headaches and it just knocked me out like i still feel a bit dizzy this morning um anyway i am gonna have quite a productive morning i am gonna take the dog for a walk clean the house do a bit of like um content slash planning like just get a few things filmed we're we'll going out with my grandma later on and um, so i just want to get everything done this morning Okay, so I'm just sat in the office, still got my little headband on. Um, I think I mentioned on Wednesday that I was making four charms and bracelets. Um, there's a few that I want to make today. I'm probably going to leave it till this evening because with me going out today, I don't want to rush them. Um, and I normally prefer to do them on an evening anyway, like watching some on YouTube with a candle on and a cup of tea. Um, however, I have got a bit of spare time now and a bit of a <laughs> ramble here, but our family cat very sadly got put to sleep last week um she was really old and she was declining so it was kind of like expected um but still sad um and my mum and sister decided to get her ashes in a little memory bear so i'm going to show you it but um socks 
loved wearing collars like honestly she loved them it's quite funny because mine literally hit wearing collars but yeah she loved wearing collars with a little bell on and i just thought it would be cute to make a little bracelet for the bear maybe with socks of name on um and yeah just a little accessory for the bear which might sound a bit weird but like i said because socks generally loved wearing collars i just thought it'd be something cute to put on her and obviously um jess has got like a phone charm with like similar charms on um and it's probably going to sit on her bed so that's what i thought i would make um and i'm going to show you it because it's quite nice actually it comes in like a bag how bougie <laughs> never thought i'd say that about some pets ashes um it's funny because well not funny but when our family dog fudge got put to sleep years and years ago um my mum and dad got her ashes in a casket and then went and bought a sideboard in the same like type of wood to match the casket and it was like expensive as well anyway <laughs> so yeah the chosen memory bear because socks would always sit on jess's bed um so it means that she can continue to do so so her ashes are in like a little compartment in the back it's got a little sunflower there and yeah it's just really cute so as i said i thought i might pop a little bracelet on it um and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do um, i'm gonna keep this out just so i've got obviously um something to <laughs> go off size wise so yeah that's what i'm gonna sit and do like so random um i want to film some videos today but i don't know if i'll get around to doing them and um, i'm waiting to get my nails done as well and i don't know if to wait till i've got my nails done to film more content because especially when i'm doing like unboxings and things my nails are like very much central like focus like um yeah so i might wait till i've got my nails done i also want to do some fashion reels so i've been watching you know those like um recreating pinterest outfit videos i am obsessed with watching them and i've been saving a few pins um of outfits that one i like but two have like pieces of clothing that are similar to what i've already got if that makes sense because i am really enjoying the fashion content and i've done a lot of like what i bought versus how i styled it and just styling the new like items of clothing that i bought but it's getting to the point now where i pretty much went through everything so obviously i can style things differently and i post like beauty and skincare and other kind of lifestyle bits as well so it doesn't all need to be fashion but i would like to start doing a little bit more fashion so that's just an idea that i'm thinking of but if anybody's got any suggestions do let me know i have started to post um like my instagram reels on youtube shorts as well and um, so if you don't have instagram then you will eventually see them coming up i'm just a bit behind because i'm really good at posting on instagram every day i'm just not the best at resharing it onto other platforms as quickly um but yeah okay so i'm now getting ready to go out um my grandma has decided she wants to go to redka which is like a beach and um, well like a seafront and there's some shops so we're getting the train in an hour so i'm just going to quickly get ready i don't have a clue what to wear because the weather seems quite nice but obviously by the sea it's a bit windy and cold so we'll see anyway i am gonna very quickly get dressed take macy for a walk I had a really nice little day out, had some nice food, walked around the shops 
um, just got home and now Macy has a bad stomach and she had diarrhea all over the living room floor. I'm lucky that I've got a hard floor and that it wasn't on any like soft furnishings. But honestly, just having pets is so glamorous sometimes. Anyway, I thought I would show you what I got. Um, so firstly, we have half a chocolate roll cake thing because my grandma refused to have the full thing. <laughs> got one of these pet water bottles for Macy when she goes in the car for walks because James took her out the other week on like a long walk and he just had to take some water in like a like a just normal plastic bottle so I thought that'd be good. Um got some new flannels because hello um because I've had to chuck out a couple recently um you know when they just go a bit minging um so I've got those and they match the scheme like colour theme of the bathroom. I've got a scrapbook which has black paper because I'm going to start scrapbooking and I do have a few that I got years ago from Paper Chase um, but while this was um, on sale because it was a wheel cause like closing down sale so I thought I'd pick that up I don't need it yet but I will need it at some point got some sweets for me and James got him these little sharks and I've got me these chocolate nibbles does anybody else have these please let me know if you have because I used to be obsessed with a little um, and then is this the last thing yeah I got this bag, so it was on sale at Dorothy Perkins for £8, it should have been 16 and I just thought it was really cute because I'm going on a summer holiday to Spain in October and I just thought that would be really handy because um, I've got like handbags and I've got a large beach bag like this but a lot bigger um, but I just thought this would be a really nice size, enough to put in like my phone, my sunglasses, bottle of water, something like Excuse me? But I just thought, yeah, I really like that, so I got it. That's everything I got. Hey, <laughs> know, baby, if you miss me, if you have a booty to me. Won't be letting you kiss my face for the foreseeable future. Anyway, Jess and her boyfriend have just got home from their holiday. Um, so Jess has come around to bring me a present she got me. And I'm giving her, obviously, um, socks is like Ashes Bear and the little bracelet I made. I actually might make Jess a matching bracelet or anklet to match the little bracelet I've made for Socks' memory bear. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sort out um, the house because it's just a little bit chaotic right now and I'll catch back up with you in a bit. So I've just come upstairs and made myself a little bath. I thought obviously with me being back at work tomorrow, I would just have a little kind of self-care evening. I've used this bath bomb from Patisserie Beauty, which is the Rose Pomegranate Bath Ball, um, which is so pretty. It's got like little petals, which you can see there. Um, and yeah, I've got a bit of a rose gold theme going on. So I've got my little Bath and Body Works candle, which is warm vanilla sugar. It's one of my favorites. Um, and then I've got a bit of skincare face mask, another candle and a cup of tea. So yeah, I'm just going to get in here and have a bit of time to unwind um, and just not be on my phone and relax. So yeah. So I've had my bath, done some laundry, got my comfy clothes back on. James is actually home early so I'm now just cooking our tea um, and then I'm going to ask him to walk Macy while I finish doing the tea. Then we'll probably sit and watch something maybe on Netflix and then I'll probably go upstairs and just chill for a bit. So this is probably the last time I'll talk in this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if we got this far because I feel like it's just been very all over the place. But obviously I had a really good time last week um, in London for the girlies event. That was amazing. I've shared some content over on my Instagram for that if you want to go ahead and check that out um, and just had some really nice days obviously like going to my grandma's for Sunday lunch and then had a nice day with her today I'm glad that my mum and dad are going to be back tomorrow though because um I have missed them and but yeah if you've got this far please do let me know in the comments because I do really doubt if anybody actually watches all of the video and um, so I'd be very grateful to know if you have and I will see you in my next video